One month, not long enough to recover from a storm like this. But tonight, the people of Pilger took important steps to rebuild after an EF4 tornado. The tornado destroyed about three quarters of the village. Some buildings and homes are lost for good. Good evening, I'm Craig DeGrelli. And I'm Jennifer Griswell. But tonight, signs of new life that will get saws buzzing and hammers pounding. Came TV Action 3 News reporter Kelly Bartnick was in Pilger and brings us the latest. So much of Pilger is beyond repair tonight, but what can be fixed is getting done. I kind of waited it out and see if I could try to save my house a little bit. Philip Brown is still waiting, even though early estimates put the home past the point of salvage. But the walls on the inside, it's a little bit twisted and there's some cracks that are inside. Almost all the outside walls have a crack in them somewhere. The block across from him is already gone. His neighbor's home on the other side of the street went down just yesterday. Longtime village clerk Kim Nyman says the population is now half what it was a month ago. When I get here early in the morning, it is so quiet. Just so, so, so quiet. Vows of resilience after the EF4 twister pummeled this community turned to pledges to rebuild. And then prayers this community can pull itself back together. And maybe we won't get some of the ones that used to live here, but maybe we'll get some new ones. The planning commission of the village of Pilger. Some were answered tonight in the basement of St. Peter's Lutheran Church, where the Pilger Planning Board approved the first zoning permit since the tornado, seven of them two homes, and just as important, the new headquarters of the Farmers Co-op, a lifeline. It's just the beginning in Pilger, where a month after tragedy, light has come again. We're going to probably move outside of town and still be in Pilger. A lot of stuff that's damaged in there, but we still got, you know, we still got our pictures and, and, and stuff like that. The community is still putting volunteers to work here, and they're asking for people to step up with heavy equipment to help continue hauling debris. But tonight, this is a big step as this community moves into recovery territory. Reporting in Pilger, Kelly Bartnick, KMTV Action 3 News.